84 degrees out there now, 1066, correction, 2921, the altitude, 66.6, on the water grains, and Justin rolled way past the water before he hit the race, or before he hit the gas to do the burnout, and uh, well, consequently didn't do a burnout. Yeah, that was more of a dry hop as he's going to get that card reversed. Dale Creasy Jr. had his first round win since the 2020 U.S. Nationals in Brainerd, Minnesota when he won the first round. In 2020, he qualified 16th, and now Schrieffer is out of the race car. Yep, he rolled through, he whacked the gas, and when it come to a stop out there, I think it just killed the big old Hemi. I give Justin credit for this. The first thing he thought of is get out of the way. I don't want to ruin this run for Dale Creasy. That is a heads-up move. That is the one thing that will prevent them from having to alter their routine at all. You know, this is one of those sneaky, dangerous cars, as we learned in Brainerd. These guys keep hammering at it. It does go down the racetrack, and at times... That is all you need to do to succeed in this sport. Well, he loves playing spoiler. I mean, you know, you look at the different teams have different goals, depending on your budget, depending on your, you know, your stack of parts, depending for these guys qualifying for the race, coming out here, potentially playing spoiler in round number one like they did in Brainerd a couple weeks ago. The Tech Pack machine for Summit Racing. The big old Hemi Dodge. Well, he's going to be the number one car to qualify. It sounds like a backhanded compliment, but it's not. They race within themselves. They race within their means. They're not overextending themselves, and that's why this car is one that you need to pay attention to wherever it lands. And it's also why they've been able to keep themselves in business all these years. How about a 397? Race fans, look at them on the starting line. A three-second run for the Creases. You come to Indy, you put up the best number you ever have, you better go home happy. So Dale Creasy Jr., the 3.97.7, a brilliant run. The speed, I believe that has to be the best speed he's ever run at nearly 322 miles an hour. And out of the first of five qualifying sessions for these cars, he has absolutely put himself in this field. There has never been an all-three-second funny car field. And Dale Creasy Jr. has set a very, very good tone for this one. Oh, I hope you didn't just jinx us, Loans. Yeah, we're down here with Steve Creasy. Steve is fired up. That's big. Here at the Big Go 97. We needed that really, really bad. We had a match race last weekend. We struggled a little bit. Uh, we made some changes here, and we ran 98 here last year right in this lane. I said, well, let's run it like that. There it is. <laughs> Love how fired up you were. Keep it going. Good luck. Hug down here. Dale Creasy is, that is. And Dale Creasy Jr., you come down here right off the trailer after uh, after the little miscue there in Brainerd. And, boy, did you redeem yourself right there. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's what we've been looking for all year, and it's in there. Sometimes the driver doesn't do his job, and sometimes we just don't hit it right. But I think Tech Pack Summit, Jump Force Racing for helping us, and all the people that help us out, because this is the way to start Indy. <laughs> How much pressure does that take off of a team like that? All of it. It takes yeah. about uh, 2,650 pounds off their shoulders.